Hello, this is Patricia from Pinky's World. Um, I'm back with another little project and I'm also back with another cold. So please forgive me if my voice goes a bit crooky. I have a really sore throat at the minute. But needs must and you have to keep your routine going. And this is my Tuesday make. It's going to be my customer gift this month. Uh, it has three of these uh, lovely wee bars of chocolate. Um, I actually got these in Aldi, but... I think you can get them in uh, Lidl as well. So have a wee look there. They come in all different flavours. And these ones are the strawberry yoghurt ones, which are delicious. I did have to try them. So we're making this lovely wee package. It holds three wee bars. It's held together with this um, ribbon. And it just slides. The ribbon slides out and pulls up. So it's really easy to secure and keep it a nice wee shape. So... I thought it was a nice wee idea, so this is what I've done. So I also have used um, the 2019-21 in colours. This one is done in the Rokako Rose, and the other one I'm doing today will be in the Terracotta Tile, just for a wee variety. So you can get your pieces easily out of like half a sheet of um, the 6x6. You also need one of these... Um, Shapes or any shape you want. I, I have used this shape and I totally forgot to write down. Oh, it's the stitched nested label dies and it was this size, which is fairly small. But look how untidy that is. Bad, isn't it? I never put them back in the right place. And the stampin' up the stamp set, sorry, that I'm using is Love What You Do. We're just going to use this lovely wee flower here. We're going to colour it in with our ink pad and our wink of Stella, which is great. So let's get started. First of all, you're going to need a piece of black cardstock, just plain black, and it needs to measure four inches by nine and a half. That's a good be straightforward measurement. You need two pieces of DSP. Uh, they need to measure one and six eighths by three and a half. And as you can see, there's a lovely script on the other side. So you could go either way, whichever, but I'm just going to keep this design up for the time being, as I think it ties in nicely with the white that we're going to be stamping on. So we'll get our big piece and do a bit of scoring. So keep your sh short edge at the top, and we're going to do just a few wee scores. So scored at half an inch make sure it's butted right up see I'm, I'm inclined to move the bottom of mine i'm very bold half an inch and then one inch and then go over to three inches three and a half and then we'll turn it around this is going to be your top part i'm bouncing again aren't i i don't know how to turn that off i have the uh, autofocus off but it still seems to want to annoy us so this way go to three and three quarters and then four and a quarter and that's all the scoring you need to do so before you um do your folds just do a bit of cutting we're going to cut these two off here two strips both sides down to that first line so just cut them nice so that you're not getting none of that edge on this edge. Cut them right into that um, score line. Cut it across. And we're cutting this wee one away, but we're keeping this one. This one away. Oh. I don't know why that keeps happening it's so annoying i got a new computer i'm using the same program everything is updated and it just seems to be playing up on me now so i'm really sorry cut that across take that one away and just uh, cut these two wee bits in just to get rid of those wee bulky edges and i do the same at the other side cut right down Oh, for goodness sake. I am sorry. I don't know if this is interrupting your view, but it's certainly interrupting mine. 
I don't know what is wrong with it. Come on. I'm going to continue and hope for the best. But I am going to have to get this looked at. Because it ain't no good. So that's all your trimming done. So the only other thing you need to do now is get your everyday label punch and slide that in. So it's butted right up to the top. And there you have your nice sweet top part. There is a new one of these out as well, which will do the same job. So don't be afraid to use it if that's the one you have. So do your folds now. those all in and then we're just going to stick our DSP down before we go any further so I'm just using a liquid glue that I have and it's quite uh, runny so I'm not going to go around the edges too much so if you have that kind of glue don't get around your edges it'll squeeze out So I like to check that the writing is that way so then I know this one should face this way. Just center it in there. And then do your other one for the back. Ronnie Clay does give you a nice wee time to straighten that up as to where you want it. So now we're going to put uh, our Tombow glue to join it up. Just a wee dab there and there. And we'll just set this up. Oh, I hate getting sticky. So set that up so that you're getting a nice square join. And just press it to ticks. And the same with this side. Oh, come on, tick. Yeah, that seems to have taken so we're going to put these in now the best way I think to do this now is to actually put your bars of chocolate in and it gives you a good firm uh, base to work on so there's three wee bars fit in there nicely oops I'm caught at the bottom Oh, you can tell I'm not well, can't you? Come on, in you get. So, that's going to hold really firmly, but you need to put your glue on, obviously. So, glue on both sections. You could use turn tape or something, a permanent tape, red tape or something here, if you want. But I like to be able to Press. Just make sure you get up the top there. You don't want those hanging open. You want a good seal there. So we're going to press. Whoops, a daisy. We're going to press this down. Get the glue off your chocolate. Oh my goodness, get in there, boys. I have made this lovely and neat because I hate my chocolate rattling about. And I think I've went a wee bit right get these in quick let me think those bars are slightly bigger than the last ones 
great for peace of mind. I'm leaving that one out for the time being. But what on either side? I hope I can slip that one in later. I'm so sticky now, getting caught on everything. But uh, if you have your bar in there, you can press that down. Come on, are you going to let me in or not? I'm going to go to the middle. See if it goes in there any better. In. Good boy. So now we need to do a wee slit of a cut just the same width as your punch there. Just about halfway between that space that you have. So just do a quick slit along there. Just with your blade. Can slip your scissors through. No, nope, I didn't get right through. Yeah, I can see through it now. That's better. So now you need some um, uh, ribbon. My goodness, my brain is dead. I'm gonna have a wee drink here. So the ribbon that I'm using today. It is Scalloped Age Ribbon. It's out in the Christmas catalogue at the minute. And it's just basic black. So it's perfect, really. It's just perfect for what you need it for. So we're going to slip a piece of the ribbon in here. So just slip it through there. And catch it at the other side. So you know you want about that length. And then it's going to come down. It has a lovely wee edge on it. Do you see it? Bring it right the way around and measure up here and then you'll know where to cut it with my big ribbon scissors. And we're going to thread this one through here. So that one's round the back. Just make sure you don't get it twisted. We're just going to tie a piece of the matching terracotta. We just need a small piece, but unfortunately, you do need a bigger piece to get it tied. It's so hard to work with a wee tiny piece, so try your best and do this. Now, when you're tucking this one over and you want to show the other side, make sure you bring it through showing that side. Just turn it slightly. And give it a good tug and then you'll see the pattern that's the only thing about this ribbon it's a lovely linen effect on the back but if you want the decoration on both sides you need to do it when you're tucking it in just turn it and that should hold it for you and then just as usual feed it about to get it in a nice wee shape and then we're just going to trim it because we don't need a whole lot of it who we'll see we'll trim you that way and you can trim that even further if uh, you find that's too, there's a bit big looking, isn't it? I'm actually going to go this way. And that's a wee bit neater, isn't it? And then you can trim your top ones as well. Just at a wee angle. Stops any split. So that's the perfectly matching ribbon. You can see it goes perfectly. It's called a, a terracotta tail and it's scalloped linen ribbon. Another lovely item to get if you're trying to match everything up. So that's the basics of that done. So now we need to decorate it. And for that we're going to stamp this wee flower in the Bento ink. This is my older one. I don't want it to be real black. I did do the other one in the new ink pad. And it's, I think it's too black. It's too black for me at the minute. I just want it to be subtle. But because we're going to colour it in, you need to use your Romando so that it doesn't uh, rub or anything. So just stamp that in the centre there. And then we're going to colour it in. 
and to do that you're going to need your um, terracotta tail ink and you just want to put a wee bit on your block just on the end it doesn't take a lot just pick up a wee bit of your ink on your block that should be enough and get your wink of Stella. What did I do with you? Just shake it up. We're just dipping the very edge into some of the, the ink. And I'm taking it that the darkest side of this flower will be around here. So we go around the other side. It gives a wee bit of faded. That gives it a wee bit of a uh, definition. So dip again, go to your darkest part of the flower, colour it first and then just wipe over the other part. It is so much fun painting with your inks and if you haven't got the matching markers then it works perfectly for you. But do use your memento if you're doing this. Darkest round there and then swish it across. If you find that's getting too inky, just rub it a couple of times on a plain sheet of paper and it takes a lot of it off. You can dip a wee bit in. If you use far too much, of course. Now you can go back in with a good wee bit of ink and do those darker sections again just to give it a wee bit more definition. And as you can see it takes seconds and it's also getting that lovely sparkle to it. I'm not sure you done but do clean that off. not coming give it a wee squeeze with your fingers and it will eventually clean it up it's getting a bit cleaner it's going to take a wee while I'm going to come back and do that round waist again it is a very prominent color that so wipe that off and now we're going to stamp some new leaves it's the leaf I'm seeing uh, stamp pack and I'm going to use um, granny apple green this time. The other one I used old olive. So just pick up your ink. Line the stem of that up so that it's going to stamp like it belongs to it. And then just do one the other side. You can pick this one up a wee tiny bit but still that it's coming out of the stem. And that's it. Of course, look, I got ink on it. Very good. That's my inky fingers. So keep them well. I'll wipe beside you. So turn that over and get your... Um, Dimension also, my goodness, my brain is gone. Gone with the fairies tonight. I just put four up either side. Give it a good wee balance. So don't put it upside down. There you have got a wee bit of dirt on that ink, which I'm going to cover with um, a gem or something. So stick that in the center, line it up between your your two. I'm just covering the ink. What am I like? Oh, so in here I put a few wee. Um, gems or pearls that I had. These are an old set. I think they're actually available in the clearance rack so get in there and get them. 
just going to put a three just across the center you could put a wee thank you or something if you wanted to do that instead no got to actually use one of those and two of those i hope hoping this video has come out right because i will be very cross if it hasn't Now that's it. We're going to have to stick a wee gem of some sort on that. Oh, I forgot my string. I actually was going to go with this lovely copper um, just to go with the orange. So fold over two wee pieces about that and tighten the knot. And then just get your scissors and cut. One loop, two loops. And we're just going to stick that there. That's just to add to it. And you can trim it down to suit whatever suits you. So use your wee um, glue dots or something, whatever you have there. And that's the two of them. I'm going to stop now because I think my frames are popping out of existence here with us, whatever's going on the night. So I'll have to check this out, see how it goes. But as usual, all details down below. Uh, everything that I used, uh, there'll be a link to it. and. I hope you actually got to watch it. Bye.